Hi friends, so in this video we are going to see why cache memory is required in a particular computer system. If you are considering a computer system, there are three major components that are available. One is the central processing unit and second one is the I.O. devices and third one is the memory. Every time if user want to perform some operation with the computer system, user need to give a command to the system. Here user will give the command to the central processing unit with the help of I.O. device. Central processing unit will get the command from the user, it will process the command, then it will identify which is the data and which is the operation. After identifying the data, central processing unit will get, will get the data from the memory to the processor. Now, after getting the data from the memory, central processing unit will process the data and it will produce the result. If the result is updated, the result will be sent back to the memory for the storage or retrieval also. Example, user want to perform some other operation with the same set of data. Again, the data will be taken from the memory to the processor whenever if the data is required. So example, if the data, same set of data is required for 10 times, 10 times the data will be taken from the memory to the processor. So example, just consider if the data is transferred from memory to the processor, it will take some time. It may be a microsecond or it may be a millisecond. So that particular time may be considered as a data transfer time. Every time if the data is transferred from memory to the processor, that data transfer time may be considered for the that particular execution time for the particular operation. Here you need to consider that 10 times if the data is required, so you are accessing time also required for 10 times. In between, if you are able to place the memory between main memory and the processor, you can store the frequently used data in the middle memory. So that middle memory may be called as a cache memory. So frequently used data will be there in the cache memory. Now you can reduce the data transfer time between main memory and the processor with the help of cache memory. With the help of cache memory, you can reduce the data transfer time. In same time, you can reduce the execution time also. This is the major point for the requirement of the cache memory. Thank you.